Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Kilroden. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon, where I'll be talking about the movies, obviously the TV shows, merchandising, theme parks, I don't know, whatever the case may be. If it's related to Disney in any shape or form, then yes, there's a good chance I'll be talking about it. So for today's video, I'll be discussing the film titled Barbie Princess Charm School. I know technically Disney didn't make this specifically, but just bear with me for a moment here, folks. The film was released on DVD on September 13th of 2011, and it made its film's TV debut on Nickelodeon two months later. The movie had more than one release throughout the years, which means this was released on two DVD a few times here and there ever since its initial release and even after its television debut. But the version I'm going to be talking about is the 2017 release that I'll be talking about in this set right here, folks. Montel, the company that's responsible for the Barbie dolls, did actually make some of the Disney Barbies as well. Montel started licensing and sponsorship rights from the Walt Disney Company for a new line of type of dolls, toys in 1988, but also not only that, from that point forward, Montel also developed dolls based on the Disney Princess brand, and of course, which does include the Frozen franchise. Obviously, the Disney Princess dolls are not exactly the same as the Barbie dolls themselves, even though they may look somewhat similar and are made by the same toy makers, but there will be some differences, of course. So I guess, in other words, I'm using this kind of an excuse to talk about this movie. So yes, I'm... Pretty much using this as a justification to show this movie view during my Disney movie marathon. And yeah, yeah, I kind of already hear it. People pretty much saying things such as, You can't allow boys to talk about this or play this kind of stuff. They should play their gender specific toys because down the line, you might mess them up mentally speaking. Don't you realize that? That is without a doubt the dumbest thing I've ever heard. So, okay, technically I've already reviewed this movie, but as mentioned a moment ago, I'll be reviewing a different version of it, so I guess more on that in a bit. So, as always, let's talk about the plot, shall we? So, here we go. In this movie, Barbie, she is known as Blair Widows. In this one, she's this kind, sweet girl who is chosen to attend this famed Princess Charm School, where it's supposed to be this modern place that teaches dancing, of course, how to have these tea parties, and yes, obviously, to be a proper princess. Blair loves her classes as well as the helpful natural spirits and her new friends in this movie, but one of the royal teachers discovers Blair looks a lot like the kingdom's missing princess. So yes, obviously this going to be problematic, uh, of course. So she turns Blair's ward upside down as an attempt to stop her from claiming the throne. Because, of course, you're going to have a villain in one of these types of movies. Seems to be typical, but there you go, I guess you can say. Now Blair and her two friends must find a way to get this enchanted crown to prove Blair's true identity in this crazy adventure. Hey man, can't you just realize what's going on here? It's gonna be crazy. It's already insane enough because people are already dressing up as the princess characters from those princess movies from Disney. People are going to be confused about their gender, and then 
force it upon everybody else in society. Hey pal, you just blowing from Stupid Town? As mentioned earlier, this is the version of Time, but it contains four movies. I do like the cover and the way it looks. And the discs themselves look pretty solid, actually. I like, I like the little pictures on them. Except for one of them that doesn't have any pictures on it for whatever reason, but as for the others, it looks fine. Like they have these little images on them, That's, which I thought was pretty cool. But anyway, and even on the back, there's sort of like some screenshots. Uh, to give you some kind of idea what they're about, I suppose. And yeah, there's a listing right here, folks. So I like the, the way it looks, I was saying a moment ago. Of course, it's supposed to be look feminine and whatnot. Nothing wrong with that. But in the disc themselves, you just go to this movie and just go. There's an interactive menu that's been shown here. There's like a few things you can select from if you like. So I'll just go to one of them real quick. There's the outtakes. And I guess this was just done intentionally like this, just to have some humor, I suppose, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that, really. And then if you go for like anything else, that's right here, just like literal things, like literal music kind of a thing that's going on here, which obviously does make sense because it's going to, of course, it's going to have some music. And then there's like this kind of thing that's going on, this kind of selective would even look at this so it does have something going here other the trailer gallery even will see that and then if you go to my favorite you just select any scene or that's your favorite i suppose so there was that and even when you go to set up those the different languages like english and spanish with the subtitles i suppose i do kind of wish that there could have been more in here when it comes to extras but it just feels kind of bare boring to some extent but the movie itself is fine i like the animation it's actually pretty good i like the colors i used throughout the entire film and yes the story itself isn't too shabby for what it's worth and i can say that i did like the voice acting the voice acting was actually quite good actually even though this is supposed to be a direct to video have a thing the singing was actually quite good as well so surprise surprise and yeah this is quite a solid entry in the barbie series which i do recommend we'll stop talking about this movie don't you realize that a lot of women out there are insecure about their bodies and this is they, so on too much skin how dare they so much too much skin here that's just so disgusting Give me a break here. Ah. You, sir, are an ass. Characters themselves are pretty likable. They're charming in their own way. So, they're nicely written all together. Yes, even though despite the fact that it's a bit of a drama going on, but we do need some conflict, otherwise it would be pretty boring. Anyway, the animation is pretty, pretty florent. It's pretty colorful in its own little way. The cuddle palette is pretty good, so none of the coloring here never felt like it was overbearing or anything. The there's attention to detail, is what I'm saying. There's attention to detail, which is good. And the way that looks in the background, the foreground, all nicely put together. I like the shading. So all together, not too bad. I'll give this version of it an overall rating of a 7.1 out of 10. It gives a 7.1 out of 10 for me. Of course, as always, thanks for watching, and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh yeah, later.